All right, question number 20 says, three forces are acting on the same object. The forces are A, 50 Newton force directed at 37 degrees, B, 12 Newton force directed at 195, so 180 and 15, and C, a 36 Newton force directed at 300, 270 plus 30, 36 at 300. Determine the resultant of A plus B. We did A plus B plus C. And it says, draw, 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 draw a diagram of the three vectors. Actually, the question reads, A plus B number 20, A plus B minus C. So I'll talk about that, but I'll show you what we did for A plus B plus C. Draw a diagram of the three vectors, and I'll show you how easy it is to change that from A plus B plus C to A plus B minus C. So anyway, what, what I suggest you do is develop a little table with the vectors A, B, and C, and the X and Y components. So the X component for A is 50 times cosine 37, because it's the adjacent side, and that happens to be for X, positive direction, because it's in the first quadrant. The Y component is 50 times sine of 37, which is the opposite side from the angle, and it's also in the first component, so that makes Y positive. So it's a positive, positive X, positive Y, okay? And so for B, both of these are X is in the negative and Y is in the negative. So for this, X is a negative value, Y is a negative value, 12 times cosine 15 here and 12 times sine 15 here. So 12 is the hypotenuse, cosine for the adjacent side, sine for the opposite side. Both X and Y are in the negative because it's in the third quadrant. So B have negative values for X and Y. C is a 36 Newton vector at a 30 degree angle from this vertical. So this is the Y X component, 36 times sine of 30, positive X because it's in the fourth quadrant. And 36 times cosine 30 is negative y, because it's also along the third quadrant line. So we're going to plug in our x and y values as positive and negative. Now, if this had been negative c, this would have been negative, and this would have been positive. That's all you have to change. So in order to do this, you add this minus this plus this, and we get this. And then we take this number minus this minus this, and we get this. Now, we get a resultant vector by adding the positive x and the negative y. 46.34, 4.18. Our resultant is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or the square root of this number squared plus this number squared. And then remember the angle. You've got to have the angle in order to have the vector. We have a magnitude and a direction. So the angle is arctangent of opposite over adjacent. And there you go. Again, easy peasy. If, if you have A plus B plus C, you do it this way. A plus B minus C, you just change the sign on this. So this would be negative. This would be positive. Re-add your numbers. Re-add your numbers. Draw your new vectors. There you go.